after a magnitude 6.4 earthquake in Taidong's Guanshan Township rocked Taiwan on Saturday night. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief, believing it all to be over. However, a day later, at 2.44 p.m. Sunday, buildings were shaking once again, this time even more severely. A Central Weather Bureau seismologist says Sunday's earthquake was actually the main one and that all the rest were foreshocks. Sunday's magnitude 6.8 earthquake has been the strongest to strike Taidong since 1973. It had a very shallow epicenter of only 7 kilometers in Chishang Township. Let's hear from the seismologist. Before the main earthquake, there were a total of 73 foreshocks. This was extremely rare to see, and it may have been energy that had accumulated for a very long time. We know this as there had been no major earthquake in 50 years in the area. Yesterday it reached a certain point where cracks started to appear geologically. This magnitude 6.8 earthquake has been the strongest earthquake this year. It was even bigger than the magnitude 6.7 quake on March 23rd. However, the aftershocks have also petered away pretty quickly. Because of its rigid geological conditions, its scope was relatively small. After the earthquake rocked Taidong, emergency calls came in one after another across the island. President Tsai Ing-wen addressed the nation at the first instance, saying that the Disaster Prevention Center had been put on highest alert and could provide immediate assistance. Premier Su Zhenchang and Interior Minister Xu Guoyong also went to the Disaster Prevention Center to take charge of operations. More than 100 soldiers based in Hualien and Taidong helped out with rescues.